I worked it through my version of a digital workflow, which to me eliminates the human error that we introduce. So it, it's a great implant. It's giving me more options as to how to manage challenging situations. The digital workflow just makes the whole process more accurate. I think in a guided world, the concept of a velodrill, though, is very important because we have such incredible precision and accuracy in our site preparations that without real attention to detail, it's very easy to overheat those sites. So any advance in technology that's going to reduce risk is positive. So I look at that as one asset to the whole digital workflow and my BLX experience. Well, in terms of restoration um, opening, some might say you have more of an option of doing immediate restoration because you have a higher likelihood of achieving higher primary stability, so that's critical. But achieving stability is important and it goes back to the implant design itself, but it also has to be that we have to remember from our analog experiences that we really have to think about bone density based preparation. So you still have to think analog, practice digitally, and absolutely that can open the possibilities for you to do more immediate restoration, whether it's a single case, partial, or fully edentulous situation. It is easy to deviate, especially when you have an immediate protocol. So I would say be enthusiastic and be smart and take your time, but absolutely jump into it.